Hi, uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to go over a uh, trigonometric identity. It's just a simple one, which is sine of pi minus x equals sine of x. So it's written it down over here. And now the proof of this uh, this pretty straightforward. If we were to look at, let's say, yeah, just let's say a random plane like this where if we were to draw this angle, so we'll call this right here as x. So this is an angle x. And basically from um, what, trig, what trig functions are, they're just ratios based on an angle. So for example, yeah, they're just, uh, for this case right here, if we have a, b, c, the sine uh, function or the ratio is if you have a right angle triangle like this. So sine of the angle x is equal to opposite over hypotenuse or b over c. So if we have this, but but if we have let's say an angle pi and pi is considered as uh, yeah so pi uh, radians this is in radians equals to basically 180 degrees and that is basically if we shift over by 180 so this right here is pi and now if we wanted to find out what pi minus x is well we could draw a exact same angle right here if we draw x right over here so this is x but on this left side so if we consider this as positive on the right this would be negative a and upwards as positive this is just b and that's just c so if we have this uh, what this angle becomes from here all the way here so from the origin all the way to here this is equal to over here as pi minus uh, x so we just take this full angle minus this little one so we get pi minus x so then the sine of this so sine of pi minus x so the way we do this is because it's shifted yeah the angles is greater than uh, 90 degrees we would still take whatever the angle is yeah relative to this horizontal which is on, on the left side so basically this would just equal to opposite over hypotenuse of this x angle which is going to be just b over c so this equals to well sine over x that's the same thing so yeah so basically we've just proven that sine pi over x, minus x equals to sine of x and there is our proof of it yeah but now to illustrate this further if we were to look at uh, this graph right here this is just sine of x right here and as you can see, this Asanya sodial graph looks like this. Goes from zero, goes up and down, where this highest height is one, lowest height is always going to be negative one right here. So now, if we were to write down uh, our function sine is uh, pi minus x. So basically, if we have this, we could rewrite this by taking this negative out, factoring that out inside. So we have sine of negative and now take it out x minus pi now we're writing it like this just because we could use the other identity which I covered in my earlier video which is basically you could take this negative out this just equals the sine of x minus pi and I'll just write that down here basically recall from my earlier video you can see the video link below as well so basically you have sine theta or sine x uh, negative uh, theta right here equals to just negative sine uh, theta. So just recall that to so make sure to watch that in my earlier uh, videos to get to understand why that is. Yeah, and here I've quickly drawn it out. If you were to basically have, let's say, this is sine of uh, x right here. So at this this number theta, we basically have uh, yeah, basically at, at this theta, if we were to go to the negative theta, it's exactly the same thing, but this is now negative of this. So this is one. And, and now we have a negative one at this height if, the, if this is equal to pi over two. Yeah, so basically just gets flipped over. Yeah, so now going back to this function right here. So we have written now as sine of, yeah, of pi minus x equals to negative sine of x minus pi. And the reason we're doing this, so now because, yeah, because we have this negative pi, and there's a negative out here we could see that this is going to be shifted or this sine curve will be shifted to the left by pi and then inverted 
because of this negative. For example, let's say uh, at x equals 2 pi over 2. So if we drag back up here, that's right here. So at pi over 2, we know that basically sine of pi over 2 equals to 1. That's just 90 degrees. So sine of pi over 2 is equal to 1, but sine uh, or negative, there's a negative sign of now let's say pi over 2 minus this pi. This equals to now negative of sine of now negative pi over 2. So pi over 2 minus pi, that's just negative pi over 2. So what this means is we are shifting to the left. So to get the same, yeah, to get the same uh, ratio when x for sine of x. So, for example, if this is sine of x to get, or actually up here, if this is sine of x to get pi over two, uh, we shift to the left, so we are actually at negative pi over two. So that's what happens here. So we shift all the way across here by pi. So we would drag this down. So if we were to draw it like this, this would be how it looked like. And this would just be sine of x minus pi. And this isn't without the negative. So we have this is when we look at just this part only. And now, if we were, yeah, so we could do the same trig entity, uh, apply this one to this. So this equals to negative of negative sine of pi over 2. And now these negatives just cancel out. So we'll just be left with sine of pi over 2. And so what we're doing actually here with this negative, we're just flipping it around. So we have this part right here, which is going to be sine of x minus pi. And now, because there's no negative, but now we flip it all the way to here. So this would just be uh, negative sine of x minus pi. And this coincides exactly with sine of x. So we basically shift to the left and then flip it. So I'll write that down. And yeah, write that down here. It basically shifts to the left by pi and flip vertically. And that and this basically coincides. So we have sine of of pi minus x equals to sine of x right here. And this is basically our uh, identity we were trying to cover. And then this is also written as sine. No a negative there, sine of x minus pi then this equals to sine of x. So this is the exact same thing. So there's the shift left by pi, and then there's a flip by this negative sign. And when we do that, we basically get the exact same thing as sine of x. Anyways, hopefully you uh, learned from this uh, pretty elaborate video on the simple uh, trig identity, which the proof is right here. But I just wanted to cover the uh, graph of it as well, and the shifting and the it, flipping it upside down. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.